Now, the National Democratic Congress's parliamentary candidate for Ketu North, Edem Agwana, has strongly criticized the government's recently launched performance tracker, accusing the new patriotic party of misrepresentation. He expressed dismay over the inclusion of projects executed by district assemblies, arguing that the NDC could have showcased over 40,000 projects in its Green Book. The following report has more. The recently launched performance tracker by the government has come under intense scrutiny from various stakeholders, particularly the opposition National Democratic Congress NDC. Although the government suggests the performance tracker is to promote accountability on projects it has achieved since assuming office, the NDC contends some project status of completion and operations are questionable. NDC's parliamentary candidate for Kitu North in the voter region, Edem Agbana, speaking on City TV's current affairs program, The Big Issue, challenged government to provide updates on major flagship projects it touted rather than listing what it deems as minor projects undertaken by district assemblies. The tracker says, as part of its preamble, that you are delivering on your promises. Now, what do we, what do we remember as the promises of the NPP in 2016? You promised one village, one dam. Uh -huh. Why is the tracker silent on it? How many dams have you provided? These are the questions that we ought to be answering. Uh -huh. Number two, you promised each constituency $1 million every year. It's been seven years. Tell me one single constituency that has received the one million per constituency every single year for development projects. Tell me. My constituency hasn't received it. They're our listeners, our viewers, they should tell us which constituency has received it. You have invested over 100 million US dollars into the most expensive hole that you call National Cathedral. Why is the tracker silent on that? <laughs> what, what, what is the update on that project? What is the percentage of completion? Can we find that in the tracker? You told us about building 350 senior high schools. These were the promises that the people of Ghana remember. So when you have failed, you've performed abysmally for seven years. Then in an election year, eight, nine, ten months to election, you decide to launch a tracker and include all the projects from the district assemblies. Projects that when you compare to what the NDC has done, it's nothing but mediocre projects. We are free to tell you that your government has underperformed your government has been very abysmal and your government has failed. Executive Director for Africa Education Watch, Kofi Asari, speaking on the same program, questioned the timing of the launch of the performance tracker. It is great for government to publish how it has used citizens' taxes through a tracker, easily accessible to all citizens. It is great. Uh -huh. It has always been great since Kufo and since um, uh, era, Mills Mama era. This digital platform makes it easier to assess. And I see an attempt, not a, an attempt, I see a strategy for an expansive reporting, uh -huh. not only on projects that government directly funded, but also projects that government facilitated. And also governments that not only central government procured, but also local governments procured. They are all government achievements, central or local. And so they must be documented. The Green Book and President Kufour's book centered on key major projects, we know. But this one goes to talk about all the little, little, little projects in every district. It is great. But it shouldn't be the case that when it's an election year, we bring information about completed projects to the people. Mm -hmm because it's election year. Meanwhile, Deputy National Communications Director for the NPP, Esiedu Kokro, has been mounting a spirited defense on government's performance since assuming office. What we have done within the last seven years, four months, we have invested long term, some of the dividend, maybe 10 years, 15 years, that we'll be seeing it. So we are not launching this because of elections. I want you to tell Adam today mm -hmm. that in government, no project is little. Mm -hmm. Let us not rubbish this because of podcast experience he says that we are bragging about the numbers indeed the numbers we have accomplished it mm -hmm. we have achieved it and i want to say on this your network that we are going to elections and we meeting him if you do profile analysis mm -hmm. health sector education sector road sector every sector we have been able to 